right here. Come on. God loves you. Come on, sweetie. What's your name? Emily. Emily, that's my sister's name. What do you want prayer for? Um, I'm having a hard time learning to forgive people and also myself. Because, like, sometimes... Because when I was really little, um, um, I know it wasn't my fault, but my mama died. And, like, if I feel like, like, I can't co- forgive myself because, like, if I... Because I was born, like, she had less time to live and enjoy her life. Um, but she was going to die anyway, so... Um, and, like, I feel like if she... If she um, didn't give birth to me, she would have at least um, a little bit more time to spend on this earth. Okay. I think Jesus has something to tell you. Okay? Jesus said, the thief comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. It wasn't your fault that your mum died or that she lives shorter. A thief came and stole. Okay? So blame the thief. It's not your fault. Okay? Secondly, it was God's will that you live. You're here because he decided you to be here. Okay? Give your dad a hug before we all start crying. shouldn't blame yourself for what the thief does. What was the problem, Emily? Um, so I had like hard times forgiving other people and like forgiving myself. Because mm-hmm. um, like, I felt like my mum's death was my fault, but yeah. So what happened was after you shared... So why did, what happened? Can you tell us what happened? Why you felt it was your fault? Um, well, because I knew she was, um, so she had a cancer, melanoma, and what happened was, um, the nurses, I think it's right, um, didn't want her to give birth to me because it would bring the cancer back severely, Mm -hmm. like it did, and then she wanted me to, um, she wanted me, um, because it would, otherwise... Even though she would have died anyway, she would have died. She would have had more time mm-hmm. in her life, like time left to spend with her family. Mm-hmm. And like I fe- felt like if I wasn't born, that would have happened. But mm-hmm. like I felt because of me, um, she had less time to live. Mm. So yeah. So what happened last night? Um, well, a couple minutes later, after you told me what you told me, I felt like this really big, like chill down my spine, and just like relief, like, like lifted off my shoulders, and like just like I had a dream la- um, last night saying like you were, it was not your fault, and like the thief, like what you said. So mm-hmm. it was just. So crazy. what what happened in the dream? Who was talking? Um, it was like I. Th- I don't know the name of the angel, but it was an angel. So. Yes, and an angel came and had a chat with you. Yeah. And what did he say? He said, forgive yourself, and it wasn't your fault, and what you said. I can't remember what he said exactly. I said, the thief comes to steal, yeah. kill, and destroy, and that you should blame the thief. It's not your fault. And secondly, that God had chosen your life as a gift. Yeah, and um, in the car on the way home, Dad explained me what the what it meant. So, because I was like a little bit puzzled <laughs> as soon as you said that, I was like, "What? What? What? What does that mean?" <laughs> so, Amen. yeah. Let's give Jesus a clap. Amen. Amen. Praise God. All right. God bless you, Emily. What, Emily? What would I don't know if you have any advice for someone who's struggling with guilt. You know, that something that wasn't their fault, but they're feeling guilty about it. Do you have any advice for someone who's watching? It wasn't your fault. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> have a seat, Emily. That's wonderful. Um, I'm getting, like, constant pain in my ear, and it's just started today for some reason. And it's just, like, there, and it's just really bad. So. God loves you.
So, Jeff, em Emily's uh, with the Lord. She's with the Lord in the kingdom of heaven. And what's happening is she's receiving <coughs> deposits from heaven. Riches are, are going into her. So that she'll just flow in, in the prophetic and she will flow in visions. And you'll think, where's my daughter? Well, she's, she's flowing in the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven will become so real to her that, like, more real than this world. Praise God. And something about a gift of, of poetry. Amen. Let's hear from Emily, shall we? Come on, Emily. Had a little bit of sleep on the floor. Come on, sweetheart. Right, so where were you? What happened? Um, just I take your hair out of your head. Yeah, that's it, yes. I couldn't open my eyes. Like, uh -huh. it was just like God was like closing them and like he was like stopping me from like opening my eyes uh -huh. and it was like kind of scary at first. Uh -huh. <laughs> and like, I just feel like, like when, like, when I went down, like I couldn't like, it was like a blackout or something like that. And like, I'm still like the shaking because it's just like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Anything else? No, it's just like, oh my goodness, and like no pain in my ears. It's just like, wow. Oh, you had pain in your ears, did you? <laughs> yeah, just this one. It's just a so God, God put some treasures in you, all right? Yeah, and, <laughs> and Emily, when God puts treasures in, in you, he never takes them out. You'll have these treasures for the rest of your life. And... It will take your whole life to understand what they are. Okay?